Hi, this is Marika. How are you? Hello or good evening. This is Tarako. This time I'd like to feature Mount Fuji. Do you like Mount Fuji? What are you talking about? If people didn't like Mount Fuji, they wouldn't be watching this video. No, that's not what this is about. It's just a greeting to get everyone into the video. So that's how it is. Let's get rid of the old man who is as annoying as ever, and let's get to the top three. Top three of what? Here are the top three things I want you to know about Mount Fuji. One, viewing Mount Fuji. Two, playing while viewing Mount Fuji. Three, climbing Mount Fuji. It would be too long to make the whole thing into one video, so I will divide it into three parts. Climbing Mount Fuji? Do you want to die? You're a daredevil. What's the big deal? With proper planning and preparation, even beginners can climb Mount Fuji. This time, I'll just briefly introduce the climbing route and other information, but if requested, I may do a feature on climbing Mount Fuji at a later date. Fuji is a mountain you look at from afar, admire its greatness and beauty, squint your eyes and sip sake from a sake bottle. You're smelling like an old man in the second half of your comment. Yes, that's the first. Mount Fuji is an active volcano located about 100 kilometers southwest of Tokyo, Japan's capital city. Its elevation is about 3,776 meters, the highest peak in Japan. Fuji has long been the object of worship as a sacred mountain and is visited by many climbers, especially during the summer season. Fuji seems to be perceived as a symbol of Japan by people overseas. In 2013, it was registered as a World Heritage Site. From a modern Japanese point of view, it is a simple image of the tallest mountain in Japan with a beautiful view. Well, that depends on each person. I will cover the history of Mount Fuji and the history of the relationship between Mount Fuji and humans in another video. So, where should we go to see the beautiful Mount Fuji? You forgot the most important thing before that, my daughter. What? The most important factor to see the beautiful Mount Fuji is the weather. Indeed we do. But it must be difficult for tourists from overseas to go see Mount Fuji on a clear day with a limited schedule. You are right. But if you want to see beautiful Mount Fuji, you should try to get there as much as possible. If your travel schedule allows for it, please check the weather forecast after you arrive in Japan and go out to see Mount Fuji. That's right. If you plan to visit Mount Fuji, download a weather forecast app on your phone when you arrive in Japan. Fuji from the Tokaido Shinkansen if the weather is good enough. I doubt it. I wouldn't recommend sitting on the mountainside window of a bullet train going over 200 kilometers per H. Then I recommend you to go along the Fujikyuko line, which is located northeast of Mount Fuji. You can see nice Mount Fuji on the way to Kawaguchiko Station, the last stop of the line. If you go a little further and walk around Yamanakako and Kawaguchiko, you will be satisfied. Once you get there, the top five viewpoints of Mount Fuji I'm going to recommend are just around the corner. Fuji from these viewpoints is really beautiful. We've created a Google My Map of all the major points of interest among the locations I'll be introducing in the videos on this channel. I'll put the link in the overview section if you'd like to use it. Please note that the information in the video and on the My Map are current as of the time the video was created. You really like rankings, don't you? It's easier to understand. If dad were me, I'm sure you'd be explaining it in a rambling way as it comes to mind. That's not true. Don't speak his thought. Put it all together in as a proper and clear way. As you can see, the viewpoints way. from number one to number four are around Lake Yamanaka and Lake Kawaguchi, which I mentioned earlier. Access to these areas is by highway bus or train. For highway buses, I suggest that you make reservations through the English version of this company's website. You can make reservations for various bus company routes that leave from various locations throughout Japan. Buses can take you from various locations, but trains are limited to access from Shinjuku in Tokyo, Matsumoto in Nagano, and Nagoya. Take the JR Chuo line to Otsuki Station, transfer there to the Fujikyuko line, and the last stop, Kawaguchiko Station, will be your base for sightseeing. The fifth best viewpoint from the coast isn't around here, but it's accessible from the Tokaido Shinkansen and the JR Tokaido line. The places depicted in Ukiyo-e it shows Mount Fuji as seen from the Takedo Highway, a route used by the Japanese in the olden days. The number one viewpoint is Uishi Park on the north shore of Kawaguchiko. How do you like this view, everyone? Here you can fully enjoy Mount Fuji as seen from the foot of the mountain, 
I like the view of Mount Fuji best from here. There is a promenade along the shore of Kawaguchi Lake, where there are fields of lavender and various herbs. Mount Fuji floating on Lake Kawaguchi is very beautiful when seen through the flower fields. It sure is beautiful. When can we see Mount Fuji over the flower garden? From late April to early October. Lavenders are at their best from June to July, and kokia leaves are colorful in autumn. Here is a brief description of Oishi Park and how to get there. Admission is free, and parking is also free. Inside the park, there are restaurants, cafes, stores, and of course restrooms. I'll put the URL of the information site in the overview section. This place is quite a distance from Kawaguchiko Station, the nearest station. The bus stop is right in front of the park, so you can take the Fujikyu Kawaguchiko Excursion Bus from Kawaguchiko Station. They run three or four buses an hour from 9 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock in the evening. They also have free coupons. It is also convenient to go to other sightseeing spots around Kawaguchiko. By the way, please note that this is a different bus stop from the express buses that leave from all over Japan. The second place is Arakurayama Sengen Park. In front of Mount Fuji is Chirei 2. This is a cenotaph dedicated to the 1055 people from Fujiyoshida City who died in World War II. It was modeled after the five-story pagoda at Tenoji in Osaka City. This is a viewpoint that would be appreciated by foreign visitors. There are about 650 cherry trees in the park. The Cherry Blossom Festival is held when the cherry trees are in full bloom, which is usually from early to mid-April. Mount Fuji from here is beautiful, even if it's not the best time of the year. Looks like it's pretty crowded all year round, but still worth the trip. I wouldn't recommend you to go up there. You'll have to climb 398 steps to get to the observation deck. Don't mock the old man. My legs and feet are still strong. The great thing about this spot is that you can see Mount Fuji at night. It's open 24 hours, and at night it's all lit up. Here's a brief description. You can get here by train, not by bus. It takes about 25 minutes from Shimoyoshida Station on the Fujikyu line to Churei 2 on foot. Admission and parking are free, but beware of crowds. I love having an unobstructed view of the majestic Mount Fuji. I'd like to set up at the observatory and gaze at it for hours. People like Dad make it even more crowded. You should think about other people and behave properly. Oh, I'm sorry. Mount Fuji from here is really impressive. The third place is Nagaike Shinsui Park. You can see the majestic Mount Fuji floating on the lake. Mount Fuji and the reflection of Mount Fuji on the surface of the lake, called Sakasa Fuji, spread out before your eyes like a mirror, taking your breath away with its beauty. Sakasa Fuji can also be seen at Uisha Park and other places. This is the closest spot to see Mount Fuji on the lake. Looks like a great view of Mount Fuji. Here is a brief description of Nagaike Shinsui Park. This is also a public park, so admission is free, which is nice. To get there, take a train and get off at Kawaguchiko Station or Fujisan Station one stop before Kawaguchiko Station. Take Fujiko Gu Bus, which is a Fujikyuko Bus Company's Yamanakako excursion bus, and get off at Nagaike Shinsui Kuenmai Stop. I'd recommend getting off the bus and renting a bike before then. Yamanakako has a bike path that goes almost all the way around the lake. I've been there once before. Cycling seems to be a good idea when the weather is nice. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours to go around the lake without any detours. It's a nice, leisurely ride on a sunny day along the lakeside. You don't have to worry about bus times, and you can visit other spots as you like. Where can we rent a bike? Wait a minute. According to the internet, there are about 10 stores along the shores of Lake Yamanaka. I'll list some of the places I recommend. Like these, I'll put them on the channel's My Map. Looks like they have electric bicycles and bicycles for two. Are there any bike rental stores in Kawaguchiko? I'm not Doraemon, but wait a minute. Yeah, there is. It's like this. Well, there are only two? No, 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 no. I picked out two stores that I recommend. What are you talking about in this age of the internet? If you're going to travel, you're going to have to do the research. Oh, that's cold. By the way, there is no bike path by Kawaguchi Lakeside, so you have to take the public road. Please be careful when you ride. Ayo! This spot is like a village turned into a theme park. You can enjoy traditional Japanese scenery and buildings with beautiful Mount Fuji in the background. What do you feel? 
It's very tasteful, isn't it? This is a famous spot. It is probably crowded with tourists, but I still want to visit there at least once. Oshino Hakai is a series of eight spring ponds fed by subterranean water from Mount Fuji. Oshino Hakai is a World Heritage Site, and the area where Oshino Hakai is located is called Oshino Town. Oshino Town is a fairly large village with shrines, temples, parks, tourist attractions, and lodging facilities. Nice place to enjoy the original Japanese landscape with Mount Fuji. It wouldn't cost much to just walk around there. For more information about Oshino Hakai, please visit the tourism website. As with Nagaike Shinsui Park, access is by Fujiko Gu, the Fujikyuko Bus Company's Yamanakako Excursion Bus. Get off at the bus stop Oshino Hakai. It looks like it's just before the bike rental store I mentioned earlier. As Tarako said, this spot will be really crowded. Early in the morning might be the best time to visit. If you want to enjoy Mount Fuji in this area, a day trip is definitely not possible. So you might want to stay at a hotel near Kawaguchiko or Yamanakako and get up early to go there. If you rent a bike the day before, you'll be free to do whatever you want. How much do you recommend renting a bike? I love bicycles. The fifth spot is a long way from the previous ones. Miho no Matsubara is located on the coast about 45 kilometers south of Mount Fuji. Fuji from here, floating on a cape with blue ocean and green pine trees. Since long ago, passers-by have been dazzled by the spectacular view. It has been depicted in ukiyo-e by Hiroshige Utagawa, numerous paintings and waka poems. There's a legend of Hagoromo here. Wow, what kind of legend is it? It's a story about a fisherman who lived here one day and met a heavenly nymph who descended from the heavens. The fisherman asked the nymph to perform a dance for him in exchange for her begging him to return her robe of feathers. After performing a graceful dance that seemed out of this world, the nymph disappeared toward Mount Fuji. Well, it's surprisingly simple. Are you satisfied if a fisherman and the nymph fall in love? Not exactly. This is also a component of the Mount Fuji World Heritage Site, so there is an exhibition center called Mihoshirube. There is also a shrine and a walking trail leading to the beach. Wow, the pine trees are really beautiful. For more information on Miho no Matsubara, please visit the tourism website. To get there, take the bus bound for Miho from JR Shimizu Station for about 25 minutes and get off at Miho no Matsubara Iriguchi. It's a nice place to stop for a quick view of Mount Fuji on your way between Tokyo and Nagoya. You can also go to Numazu and enjoy sushi at the fishing port, or go to the Izu Peninsula and enjoy the hot springs and sightseeing. How was it? This is part one of a special feature on Mount Fuji. There are many other great viewpoints of Mount Fuji, but these are my recommendations. If you ever come to Japan, please visit there. Cycling on a sunny day is the best way to see Mount Fuji. Okay, okay, I guess I'm almost done. The next issue will be Playing While Viewing Mount Fuji, part two of the Fuji special. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much for watching. watching.